Let's move on to other parts of the world now, and trouble is mounting for Sri Lanka's Rajapaksa brothers. A top court in Sri Lanka has granted permission for legal proceedings against the island's former president, Gotabaya Rajapaksa, former Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa, and former Finance Minister Basil Rajapaksa. The family, who are one of the most influential on the island, are the subjects of a lawsuit filed by rights group Transparency International that's seeking accountability, really, from the nation's leadership for the worst financial crisis since independence in Sri Lanka. The court there has also granted permission to include two former central bank governors in the investigation. In its order, the Sri Lankan court directed the Auditor General to probe and submit a report by the 30th of November on the Monetary Board's decision to set the value of the Sri Lankan rupee at 203 uh, up against the US dollar. The auditor will also look into the delay in seeking assistance from the International Monetary Fund and the settlement of the sovereign bond using foreign reserves. The courts has also directed the central bank's governor in Sri Lanka to produce copies of communications between the bank and the Rajapaksa brothers. The courts further directed the monetary boards to produce copies of reports given to Mahinda and Basil Rajapaksa. Now, if summoned, the trio might have to be present in the court for proceedings. The next hearing in the case is scheduled for the 9th of January next year. However, there is an issue there because the Rajapaksa brothers fled the country after Sri Lanka was hit by an unprecedented economic crisis with no foreign reserves left to import even basic commodities that forced people to stand in long queues for fuel and other essentials, really. What followed was mass outrage against the government and that led to the Rajapaksha's being pushed out. Now, let's get more of this uh, on this from our correspondent, Dasini Altauda. This unique Supreme Court determination now allows for the courts of Sri Lanka to scrutinize and analyze each and every decision that was made by the 39 respondents, which include several members of the Rajapaksas, namely former President Gotabe Rajapaksa, as well as finance ministers Mahindra Rajapaksa and Basil Rajapaksa, along with the governors of the Central Bank, W.D. Lakshman and Ajit Nivad Cabral, for the role that they played in mismanaging Sri Lanka's economy into becoming the worst the country has ever faced since independence. This trial will surely be something that the entire nation will be watching with eager interest. So stay with me on as we track the latest proceedings. Reporting from Colombo, I'm Dasmiya Powder.